permission from mother first. Okay. Uh, but, uh, ibu sekarang saya tak uh, buat satu permission mother kepada bayi kamu boleh ke? Boleh. Okay. Terima kasih. So I will uh, wash my hand. And then of course possible close my curtain and then ask mother as much as I want. So I will like to expose patients. So expose patient and then um, first of all for a general inspection of patients. Uh, patient looks pink to me. There's no obvious synopsis can be seen from the skin. And then uh, patient was active and then no high pitch crying, crying uh, intermittently. And then uh, so generally there is no abnormal posture like Earth's palsy or any optisotonus uh, during seizure. And then last but not least, I would like to uh, check the head of the patient for any birth trauma. I'm looking for any kepala hematoma kaput sasidenum any subgale hemorrhage there's no subgale hemorrhage there's no none of the three things I mentioned the patient was having and then I would like to pump it for the anterior fontanelle and posterior fontanelle for any bulging or any sunken fontanelle okay this, the fontanelle was normal and not bulging and not sunken so I bet I would like to check the general faces of the patient there's no gross dysmorphism seen for the patients and then uh, the eyes were there's no jaundice noted and there's no subconjunctiva hemorrhage for our patients so for the nose there's no deviated nasal septum no abnormal nasal discharge and then for the mouth there's no central sinusitis sinusitis seen and there's no cleft palate seen for the patient so for the eye and the ears right there's no hypothyroidism and then there's no epicanthal foot or low set ear seen so and then Next, I want to look for the neck region for any uh, neck swelling. I want to check JVP. JVP does not distended, not seen, and then there's no neck swelling. There's no webbing of neck as well. Okay. So now I go to the upper limb of patients. So upper limb of patients, right? First, I'll, I'll pop it a break your first. There's no uh, regular radio radio delay. So the breaker pulse, I would like to calculate the radio pulse. Okay, it's. Oh, break your pulse, sorry, break your pulse. There's no brachial delay, okay. Break your pulse, okay. The break your pulse is about 125, uh, 136 beats per minute. So, next, I would like to examine the patients. Capillary refill time. Any clubbing? Okay, any single palmar crease? The number of fingers was correct 5, 5, no polydactyly. Okay, and the tone of patients was normal, no hypotonia, no floppy patients. So there's no obvious chest deformity seen from patient. The umbilical stump was clean, not infected, no any abnormal discharge, and it's uh, still slightly wet. And then uh, next one, I would like to proceed with the lower limb. So lower limb, I will expose patient, and then I would like to pop it for femoral pulse first. Okay, pop it one at a time. Okay, and then I would like to pop it for radio femoral, uh, brachial femoral delay. There's no brachial femoral delay. Okay, femoral pulse both were palpable. So now I would like to uh, examine the genitalia of the patients. Okay, there's no ambiguous genitalia. Progenitor is obviously a vagina, so it's a female. Uh, the clitoris is seen. Labia majora meet anteriorly at the mom pubis. Labia minora meet anteriorly at the clitoris. So it's a normal. Uh, genitalia, female genitalia. So otherwise, there's no any meconium stain can be seen yet. And then, so now I'll proceed to lower limb. I'll check for the tone for the patients. Okay, so I would like to perform. The tone was normal. Uh, the number of digit was five. Okay, and then I would like to perform the Otolani and Balo test. So first, I would like to perform Otolani first. So my finger oh. on the Ah, sorry, I will perform the ballo first. Okay, GT. Okay, so hip flex, hip flex, knee flex. Okay, directed posteriorly. So I will posteriorly dislocate the, the hips. And then, Otolani. I like to adapt the patient to see for any clicks, any click sound. We suggest a DDH. So, this not no so next I would like to perform the reflex of the patients okay uh, reflex of patient bicep reflex tricep tricep 
Bacteridialis, Bacteridialis, uh, Patella, Patella, Ankle, Ankle. So next is a primitive reflex, Babinski, Babinski, and then Palmagraphs, Palmagraphs, and rooting reflex. Patient will turn towards to my fingers, suckling reflex. So next one, I will carry. I will carry the patients, okay, to check for any stepping reflex, okay, stepping reflex, and then if possible, I can perform the, okay, I can, I would, I would like to perform the stepping reflex, and then one more is one, ah, mono reflex, mono reflex, so mono reflex, I'll ask patient, I'll patient sit down, and then drop patient like this, okay, patient hands will be abducted, and then, uh, Keep back to the to the abdomen. Then last one, I like to examine the posterior part of the patients to see for any spinal bifida, any myelo meningocele or meningocele. Okay, half of, half of, or any half of hair, any local side infection, spine. So that's all. Okay. Sclerosis. Mm -hmm. uh, any obvious? Uh, I would like to examine any obvious sclerosis also. For the patients, and yeah, I like to uh check use the use the uh, scope to check for any uh congenital cataract of patient and check for red reflex of the patients, to copy my examinations.